Hey you guys, Cassandra72 here and I'm coming to you today with my Rite Aid haul. Um, coming from inside of this nasty car y'all. Um, so forgive that. I want to welcome my new subscribers to my channel. I am completely over 400 subscribers right now. So I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, so Rite Aid. I came in here to um, work this Lysol deal. So I'm um, not really. I wasn't really sure how all did all this really worked, but um, I was watching some people's videos and decided, you know, hey, let me go ahead and try to work this. Um, especially since we have some video value accounts that expire. I'm assuming they're going to expire. Um, or we're not going to be able to watch them after the 30th, and so they were um, a three dollar off two Lysol products, and I do have um, right now two video value accounts. And so, worst case scenario, if I was not able to use all of these in one transaction, I would have just split it up into two. Um, I did try to be a little slick with it, <laughs> and because they do say one per customer, but I cut that that particular part off that said that. Um, so yeah, so I went in, and um, I had four dollars also in plus ups that expire on today. So I wanted to go ahead and use those. I wanted to look at getting these Lysol um, wipes. Also, some Lysol um, kitchen cleaner. Um, I think I was watching Michelle's Frugal Living that um, spoke about that. Um, and I can't remember the other thing right now. Oh, yeah. Um, no, it was t Russ 843 Michelle um, Frugal Living also does plenty of Rite Aid videos. And she may have talked about some of these deals as well, but it was T Rust 843 actually that I was watching and talked about the Pledge Multi Surface Cleaner. So they didn't have that and they didn't have any of the kitchen cleaner. So I'm going to have to try to hit up another Rite Aid to see if I can't find those. Um, so all they had was these that were two for five, these Lysol dual action wipes. And um, I guess these just say complete clean. That's the only difference that I can sell in them. I don't know um, what complete clean means um, in relation to um, in relation to this. Uh, yeah. So I mean, because basically they both say the same thing, except that the purple does say complete clean. So anyway, with this, I am building up my my stockpile of cleaning products. So y'all yeah, was pretty happy about that. So. Um, I said the way if it worked out the way that it was supposed to, those four were going to be ten dollars. I had six dollars worth of coupons to come off of it, um, and then I have four dollars in plus ups, so that would have worked out perfectly, perfectly fine. But um, I was attempting to use this Polygrip coupons, um, did not realize that they expire on two days ago, and so I was still going to try to slip them in. I know you guys, but you know, the military can use these coupons for up to six months so I was thinking you know it's only two days you know and you have to have time to get these things um, to the manufacturer reported to the manufacturer so I thought it might not matter but in the end it beat but you guys let me tell you about this experience okay and hopefully this won't be a rambling video I think I can actually make it in under 10 minutes but I just I don't like this cashier in here whatsoever um when i came in here one of the last times with my now ex-boyfriend um this guy when i gave him my plus up rewards he was already trying to tell me that they expired because he was looking at the very first date it's like he is so i mean be good at your job i can't blame you for that but it's the attitude at which he does it like he's already looking at the cook coupons to try to scope out to see if something's wrong Okay, so he was ready to tell me that they had expired without even scanning them. Um, this time, he's standing up here. His manager is up here as well. Um, and when I give him the video value account coupons, he's just staring at them. And then, you know, he reads all the, you know, then he reads the polygrip. And, you know, because I hand them everything all at one time. I normally wait and get my plus ups, you know, when I'm totally cashing out. But I hadn't him everything at once. 
So then he puts everything down. He says, well, hold on a second. And he steps over to his manager. And I don't really know what he says to him. But probably something to the effect that we know we're only supposed to use one. And so the guy says, just, just go ahead and give it to her. So he comes back. And he scans <coughs> the two video value. And they go through with absolutely no issue. Then he skips over the polygrip and does the um, the plus ups, you know, in just this crazy fashion. I don't really even know. I mean, it, it was just crazy. If you had seen the way that he did it, it just really made no sense. Then he goes right to the polygrip, scans that. Then he says, "These expired two days ago. It's on on the 26th to 28th." I was like, "Oh, I hadn't even realized it," you know. So, um. Just go ahead and take, you know, take those off. Because um, with those that would have given me a dollar and twenty-two cents overage, they're two forty-nine, and my discount would have made them one ninety-nine, and they was going to scan the two sixty. So they would have given me a dollar twenty-two overage, which is why I threw in that soda, which was one sixty-nine, um, and would have given me, you know, it would have eaten up the overage and been a little bit over. And that would have been fine. Um, so in the end, I said it was fine. Once it came down to the end, the ending balance, I didn't say take the soda off. I figured it was fine. You know, I don't want to raise a whole lot of red flags. Like I'm coming in here trying to do something wrong all the time. <laughs> so I just let it stay. So, um, but yeah, for a second when he walked away, I was almost about to say, you know what? I'll just take my, you can just give me my coupons. And I'll leave because every time I come in here, you have to stare at the coupons as if there's an issue. You know, so like he has a problem with couponers. Anybody in this day and age needs to be trying to save as much money as they possibly can. And if you work at Rite Aid, I'm sorry. You know, there's nothing wrong with you working at Rite Aid. But if you're working at Rite Aid, um, you really need money just as bad as the rest of us. Let me tell you. Because either one of two things is happening. You're not making that much money here or you're trying to supplement your income. You know, so either way, you're not doing all that well off. So you need to be happy that someone is trying to save some money and maybe they could teach you. Anyway, off my soapbox. <laughs> Here is my receipt, you guys. All right, so you see the soda there at 135 with my discount. Um, the poly grips, of course, but they're going to end up coming off. Then the coupons. So we'll skip down to my Lysol wipes. For at 250. As we go back up to my coupons, you see the two three dollar off coupons coming off, and then my four dollars and plus ups. So my subtotal was at 135, which is exactly for my soda, 79 cents in tax. I paid two dollars and fourteen cents out of pocket. My savings were 15.90. All right, you guys. So this is where I am now. I don't know about all these promotions, but it's tracking for me. All right, so it's telling me that I am um, for the Glade deal, where I spend 15 and I get a five dollar plus up. I'm ten dollars into that. Then it's telling me that my 20 clean home zone and you get five plus ups. I'm ten dollars into that. So I'm assuming that these lights are wipes. I found the the one for 15 in the ad I'm not sure about this clean home zone so I don't know what else I would need to buy but I guess I'm gonna go and be trying to buy some more wipes because I know those work um yeah so I know those work so I guess I'll be trying to work out some type of deal with my other plus ups because I really don't have any um any coupons for that so that I'll get my um you know so I get at least that five dollars um, back so yeah yeah so I'm down four dollars and then I'm gonna try to use two two ninety nine so anyway what I'm gonna try to do so that I'm not like too far out of pocket is I'm gonna go to another Rite Aid use my two two ninety nine coupons which are five ninety eight no I'm not gonna be able to do that I was gonna say do that which was going to be five dollars worth would go to the wipes and then use a dollar and get the um, and get the sanitizer and get a dollar back, but that's not going to work because that's um, 
I've already maxed that out on this card. I could do two more, but not on this card. So I should have used my other card um, when I realized that I was not doing anything. Now, I used this card because I was trying to do that polygrip deal and get the maximum overage because the other card only has a 10% discount. So had I done this on the other card, you know, I would have been able to really work that where I would go and I would spend five ninety eight of my um, plus ups and then end up getting six dollars back but i don't know you guys out in there figuring something out um because i don't want to be like totally down on my plus ups but i don't know i guess i need to not think that way i just need to think about the fact that i just got all of this product almost 16 dollars for product and only paid for soda yeah <laughs> so i can deal with that but i still will try to um go and work this deal a little bit more with you know just a little bit coming out of pocket because like I said I want to go ahead and build up my little stockpile a little bit and I know these will sell at the flea market so if I go and do at least two more then I can keep three and sell three and that will work for me okay you guys until the next video peace and blessings